First, you're going to start to make a triangle. Here, I'm going to be using a manila folder. You could use any type of color you want. And first thing we're going to do is make a line straight across the folder. And then we're going to uh, measure 8 centimeters on each side. And we're going to connect all the, all the measurements. And it should make a perfect triangle. When you have your triangle cut out, you want to draw out as many triangles as you can on your fabric. I like this method because um, when I draw on with one side, I could actually flip open the triangle and make double the amount of triangles. So it makes it really easy and you don't have to be tracing every single triangle. So you make two triangles at once. This helps us make more triangles and not use a lot of our fabric. Which end up, I ended up making like around 20 triangles. To glue everything together, I'm going to be using this fabric glue and a one inch ribbon. This one I believe I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And now to the gluing part. Here I'm going to be placing a piece of tape behind one of the triangles. It's because um, since it's still drying, it will lift up. So you want to put a piece of tape if, if yours is lifting up. So I just for safety reasons and then I'm um, just going to place a little thin layer of glue and you don't want to make this too thick because if you make it too thick it will bleed over the other side and you'll have glue everywhere so now you want to place the triangle and you want to hold this in place for like 30 seconds and you want to make sure you run your fingers through it very well because otherwise you're going to have air bubbles and that doesn't look really pretty so after 30 seconds you want to place another layer of glue and then fold over your ribbon And you just want to be running your fingers through it, make sure that there's no air bubbles inside. And you just want to keep repeating that process over and over. And when you feel that it's dry enough, you can actually add the piece of tape or just let it dry. Thank you for watching my bunting do-it-yourself tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and send me a picture of yours on Instagram. Also, don't forget to check out my last video, and if you really like these videos and you want to see more, please subscribe and leave me a comment what you would like to see next. Bye!